Hey guys, what's up? It's me, The Centipede, and I'm back with another video. Today, we are continuing an old series that I haven't touched for a very long time. We're going to be doing a tower review, and today's tower is the Glue Gunner. So, this is the upgrade tree for the Glue Gunner. Um, I will go over each of these upgrades in detail in a second. So, I'll go over to Play, hit Monkey Meadow, Medium, Sandbox, and let's get started. So, okay, well, I guess my game is going to take a while to load, so um, bear with me. There we go. Okay, so, running at a cool 22 frames per second. So, the glue gunner is right here. The glue gunner, the base glue gunner, the 000, cannot pop balloons. So, if we send around one, you will see that it does not do anything. It slows the balloons down, but it doesn't do anything. So if we plop a... Nope. Hold on. If we get a dart monkey here, then he can pop the balloons. Because as you see, the balloons are going slower, but he's not a lot of use. Now though, if we upgrade him to glue soak... Uh, here, let's, to illustrate this, let's send out a green balloon. Oh, he can't even hit the green balloon. Okay. See, and the glue should expire. Is the glue going to expire? Uh, hold on. As you see, yeah, so the glue eventually expires. However, that will not be an issue with glue soak. Let's send out a pink balloon again. And my dart monkey wants to take care of it. But this one should not expire. This one should stay glued the entire time. And it'll still be... Oh, no, never mind. So I guess glue soak doesn't do as well as it promised. Corrosive glue. This is the first upgrade that actually makes the glue gunner good. If we send out round one, he will be able to take care of it without the help of the dart monkey. Because he can actually pop balloons now. As you see the corrosive glue, glued balloons pop one layer every few seconds. It's actually kind of good. However... Its popping power is um, pretty bad. Let's send out uh, 25, 25 green balloons. And watch it get absolutely destroyed. Because its attack speed is horrendous. So, um, here, let's actually reset the pop count. So, let's see. Two pops. Okay, let's see. 25 green balloons, which is a total of 75 pops. Let's see how many it gets. As you can see, it's not getting very many. We'll get to a good cross pass at the end, but if you're going to go top path, you absolutely need middle path, the glue gunner. So, 75 pops to get. He got 36, which is not great. But, if we get balloon dissolver, extreme solvents, extreme, melts two layers per second. Now let's send out the exact same thing, 25 green balloons, <clears throat> and he's not going to have good attack speed, but every single balloon he gets will go by a lot quicker. So if we send out spaced pinks, I'll try that, and he can't keep up with pinks, okay. Well, he's still getting a lot of pops, as you can see. Um, let's just get the glue splatter just to make this easier, and uh, we'll go back here, and we'll send one spacing of one. And now we'll send out a bunch of pinks. And now you'll see, because of the glue splatter, he can actually reach more balloons. So his uh, he has a better opportunity to actually hit the balloons. So now what we'll do is we'll get up to a fourth tier balloon liquefier. Can glue one additional balloon per shot, so that doubles its uh, the amount of balloons you can get. And 10 pops per second. That's pretty impressive. So if we send out a one ceramic, uh, one. It should be able to take care of this, no problem. Yep, look at that. Ceramic, no problem. And as you saw, it hit two ceramics. So if I send two, easy. Now let's try fortified, fortified ceramics. Also, these should be no problem. Yep, also no problem. So if we just send a bunch of fortified ceramics, it's still no problem. So this thing is now very effective against balloons in almost every way. And especially if you get this middle cross path, this can handle a lot. So we'll send out um, 45 fortified leads, just because I felt like it. 
and it'll easily take care of them. As you can see, 45, uh, 45 fortified ceramics, that's a, a mouthful. As you can see, it's pretty good, but it doesn't get every, it, actually it does get every one of them. But as you can see, there's potential for it to get overwhelmed. Let's get the fifth here. Balloon a, balloon's a problem, here's the solution. The balloon solver, this fifth grade, this fifth tier upgrade is one of my favorite upgrades in the entire game. It absolutely demolishes balloons. Um, let's set the round to round 80 so the balloons come out a lot faster and let's send um, 999 ceramics. Okay, and we'll set the round to the max it can go, 143. And it still will not have any issue because its popping power is now greatly improved. And uh, these ceramics, these are fortified ceramics, so they, and at round 143 they have a lot of health, but this guy is having no issues. As you can see, his pop count is already 36,000, and uh, he shows no signs of slowing down, so the top path for the glue gunner is excellent in my book. We'll get rid of him, and we'll get rid of the balloons, and now we'll go to the middle path. The middle path, Starts off bigger globs, can coat two balloons per shot, glue splatter, can coat six balloons per shot, and then glue hose, etc., etc. We will get him, and uh, just just to make this go faster, we will get corrosive glue for all of these. Can coat two balloons per shot. This one is self-explanatory. Um, oops, I accidentally set sent uh, 1,998 balloons. We'll send two. So, now he can get two fun but if we send out four he has to do it twice now if we get glue splatter now we can send out four no problem there's six. Oh, he actually didn't get six okay well then um that's six there you go so he gets all six so that's just glue splatter um very useful for when you're cross pathing with the top otherwise not so much glue hose though it can shoot very fast so what we'll do is now we'll send out um, 25, we'll set this back to round 20 so the health is, you know, normal. And we'll send out just a bunch of pinks. And it can keep up with the pinks no problem. Uh, let's try purples because those are even faster. No problem. Fortified ceramics it won't be able to do. Let's try regular ceramics. It can, it can glue all of them. It's not going to have a great time popping them because it's just not that powerful. But it can keep up with them. Um, which is uh, the important thing. Let's send out some yellows. It can easily keep up with the yellows. The glue hose, however, is not a lot of um, uh, not a lot of use. However, the glue strike is. What this does is it can glue every balloon on the screen and it increases the damage. So what we'll do is we'll get our friendly dart monkey here, just for uh, just to assist. So we'll get a crossbow master and we will send out 999 ceramics, 999 fortified ceramics. And we will go ahead and send them. Okay, perhaps I shouldn't have gotten a fifth tier dart monkey. Okay, we'll try this. All right, 999 fortified ceramics. They're gonna get overwhelmed pretty quickly, as you can see. The dart monkey is not getting a lot done. But now, if we activate our ability, actually, that doesn't change much. But um, supposedly, it makes it do more damage. So it, cause, it glues all balloons on the screen, which can be useful, I suppose. And it's, it's a very good stall, actually. So when you need to stall balloons, as you see, it slows down all the balloons. Glue Storm now, a very, very cheap 50 or only $15,000. Glue Storm pelts the entire screen over 15 seconds and glue balloons take extra damage. Now let's check this out. Also, you have to admit, he looks pretty cool, the new glue gunner. Especially when this ability is unleashed. So, we'll send out the ceramics and we will activate the ability. Look at his arms go wild. And there you go. He pelts the screen with uh, glue, and it's actually a good ability. It's great at stalling balloons. I'm not sure if it can stall Moabs, but um, it's very helpful for stalling balloons. Now moving on to bottom path. Oops, I should probably get rid of those two towers before moving forward. So, bottom path, stickier glue. There is the upgrade I was looking for earlier. 
stronger glue. Okay. And then we will check out the further upgrades there. So I think stickier glue is self-explanatory. We'll send one red balloon and nope. We'll send one red balloon. Nope. Here. We'll send one pink balloon and we'll see when the glue falls off. So the glue falls off. Um, when does the glue fall? Okay, so the glue falls off when it's uh, approaching, when it's going up on that last, uh, second to last curve. Now if we get here, the stickier glue, we'll send a pink balloon, let it roll, and let's see how far it gets with the glue on right now. It should be a lot longer, as you will see. So it is now approaching where it got off. Yep, and it's already a lot longer. Will it get the entire map? Yes, it will. So now it can go the entire map while glued, which is pretty good, especially when you have this corrosive glue, because it'll stay glued for longer, which means it'll get more pops. So even for an upgrade as inefficient as the corrosive glue, it'll still get all the way popped. All right, stronger glue. It just slows them down more. That's pretty self-explanatory as well. See how, that, how slow it's going? Yeah, I think that explains itself. Moab glue. Improved, improved glue formula allows it to stick to Moab class balloons. So let's send out one Moab. This is not upgraded, of course, and he cannot do much. Actually, I guess he can, but doesn't do anything. Now, if we, uh, hold on, oops, wrong button. Send out a Moab here. He should, there you go, he can slow down the Moab now. Which doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's still something, isn't it? Relentless glue. Pop it balloons, leave glue on the track. Sounds pretty nice to me. We'll send out a yellow balloon. It should pop. Yep. And hold on. And there's glue. We'll send out a pink balloon. Hold on, hold on. Please stay there, please. Oh, it disappeared. Okay. Um, let's, let's try this again. Um... Relentless glue. Let's send out a red balloon. Okay, and then send a pink balloon. See that glue picked up on the uh, pink balloon right there. And this pink balloon actually should pop all the way down. So that's the impressive nature of the uh, fourth tier. Not a lot of use, but it's, it's fun. The fifth tier, um, super glue. This now is a very good stall because it's especially good against Moabs. And uh, let's just send out a bunch of Moabs. It can see it can just stop the Moabs right in their tracks. And it does a lot of damage, as you can see. It already has made the Moabs crack, which is pretty impressive for a glue gunner whose main objective is not to pop. It temporarily immobilizes all balloons. Let's see how it does against the BFB. Oh, yeah, I have to, I forgot to mention I have the pizza BFB skin that I got from the uh, trophy events, which I think is pretty sick, but that's just me. And look, it stops a BFP, a pizza, in its tracks. Isn't that impressive? I think it is. So that's the glue gunner. Um, pretty unimpressive tower, except, uh, and really not a lot of use, except in challenges, however, glue storm can be rather useful, and super glue can be useful um, in some late game situations when you're dealing with a lot of Moabs, because it can immobilize them. So bottom path and middle path are both useful stalls. In terms of balloon popping power, just pure balloon popping power, um, the top path is actually a very good option. It is either unmatched or only has one opponent, and that would be the biggest one, the uh, mortar, which I'll get to in a later installment of the series. But this thing is absolutely ridiculous at balloon popping power. So um, we will just let it run, and uh, while it's doing its thing, I will talk about how great it is. As you see, it can uh, just pop infinite amounts of ceramics. We will actually get them fortified. Um, of course, this doesn't have camo detection, but that's fine. Because, uh, and we'll make it regrow, because why not? Point is, I absolutely love the, uh, the balloon solver. It's one of my favorite towers because its balloon popping power is just so powerful. I don't think you understand. I mean, as you see, it's doing a lot of damage right now. But this is even better than the Glaive Lord, which I talked about several installments ago. Um, so yeah, the glue gunner, it's an unimpressive tower, but it can do a lot of help if you use it the right way. The balloon solver, great against rounds like 63, 76, and if you have camo detection for it, 78 as well. 
in terms of balloon popping power, as I said earlier, this is probably unmatched. So would highly recommend using it, but it's got to be with that middle cross path because at the end of the day, the bottom path is not particularly useful. The stickier glue and the stronger glue are not really useful, especially when you have so much popping power from the balloon solver and the top path like the balloon liquefier and the balloon dissolver. It's not really necessary. So uh, if I had to give a recommendation, it would be 520 is the way to go. Bottom path and middle path can be a lot of use, but my personal preference is towards the glue gunner. Now I don't use it a lot. Um, I will go over to my, the, uh, what's it called? To my monkey XP and I'll go to monkeys and you'll see that I have a lot of XP for dart monkey, bomb shooter, attack shooter, but not a lot for glue gunner because it's not as easy to use, but it's a very useful tower when used in the right situations and it can be a lot of help to your gameplay. That's really all I have for today because um, the glue gunner is a pretty simple tower. So that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, BTD6 content. I should should have more of it in the future, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So thank you for watching again. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time, whenever that may be, with another video.